How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, a little bit different. We're actually gonna be taking a look back over a year ago to a vlog that I shot. At the time I was shooting sequentially with all of the rest of my like van build and van camping vlogs. If you're new to the channel, my name's Matthew. I live in my van full time with my two cats. I'm currently on vacation in BC when I'm filming this segment. I'll probably be back to my usual schedule soon enough. Um, I've been doing some projects, so my bed is in a bit of a disarray and everything, but we'll get into that in the future, along with the fact that one of the reasons I'm kind of sort of releasing this vlog now is just because I've been extremely ill while out here and on vacation, which has sucked, but again, we'll get into that in a future vlog. And I've never really spoken directly about my situation before I moved into the van in regards to what I was doing for a living. I've mentioned it briefly here and there, and I think I've talked about it vaguely on some of my live streams. I was working for a photography company called LifeTouch. They are a huge North American company. They are out of the United States and they have a branch up here in Canada. I started working for them in 2013 as a photographer. It's school photography, so it's kind of like school day photos and classroom photos, teams and clubs photos, graduation photos, that sort of thing. And I did that for like seven, eight years with them. And then at that point, a position had opened up in, a, in the yearbook department of the company. And I applied. I threw my hat in the ring, so to speak. And I ended up getting that position and it was great. So I, I did that for, I think, just just over a year maybe and I was I was a I was a sales rep for the yearbook division I never knew what to call it department vision <laughs> but while the official title was sales rep I was much more hands-on with what I was doing because Life Touch has sales reps for the photography side of things and they have sales reps for the yearbook side of things but as a yearbook rep I actually worked hand in hand with like the yearbook club. So working with the students, helping them put together their yearbook, how to design it, this, that, and the other thing. And I loved it. I was having a great time. And then of course the COVID-19 pandemic happened and we all, everybody scrambled and adjusted and we figured out ways to work from home. That was one thing that was nice about the new position that I was in. I wasn't affected by any sort of protocols because I could do everything remotely. With the internet and everything, I could log in and I can help people through Zoom meetings and all that sort of thing my position didn't really get affected. That was until January of 2021 when LifeTouch made the decision to lay off over 800 positions in one fell swoop. And uh, they did it on a conference call, not with the entire company or anything like that, but with an, a huge number of people. Um, it was such a crappy day because not only did they do it ultimately on a conference call and just nobody got to ask any questions or anything. It was just everybody logged into the same call saying, if you're on this call, you no longer have a job with LifeTouch. But before that, they sent out emails to everybody saying, you need to be on this conference call at this time. Or another set of people saying, you need to be on a different call at this time. Now, normally you wouldn't want these two groups knowing about it, but they didn't BCC everybody. They just put everybody's emails in there so we could talk amongst ourselves and realize, oh, I'm not on your list. You're not on my list. Huh. That's concerning. Either way, I mean, I can't imagine what it's like to you have to run a huge multi-million dollar company like that and make the decision to ax jobs. That's, I don't wish that on anybody. But regardless, it's about me and what I was going through, I lost my job that day. And two of those other people were people from my territory. One gentleman from the office I actually worked in and another lovely young lady that worked in the, a Southern office in a town called Lethbridge in Alberta. I shot this vlog while I started working with them, with Kevin and Whitney. Kevin wanted to create his own photo company and we, in this vlog, go down to Lethbridge to scout a location. And then ultimately it, I go back the next month and I'm talking about van stuff right before said photo shoot and there's some horsing around in between. Um, and I just, I thought it was such a fun day. I was having such a good time. These two, Kevin and Whitney, were such rock stars and it was so nice to have them in my corner and say, hey, just cause we all got kicked down doesn't mean we have to stay down. We can take matters into our own hands. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory why I didn't release this episode of the vlog or entry of the vlog 
in sequential order. There were non-competes in places and we didn't want people to know what we were doing. It's all moot now because if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I now work as a mechanic for a completely different company. So I'm not actually part of any sort of photography company anymore. But Kevin and Whitney are both doing very well. And uh, yeah, this is just a little slice of what it was like to sort of work with them and you know make two really good friends along the way. Like I was friendly with them while we were working, but it was this like very brief time spent together under weird and unfortunate circumstances that I think sort of really brought us a lot closer together than we ever would have otherwise. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go focus on getting better and focusing on getting the next vlog ready. So enjoy this footage, you guys. Chronologically, it would have originally been vlog number 45 for those that are really paying attention. No, oh, this is an old one. Kind of fun to look back though. Okay, it feels a little better. Nice shower, get ready for the day, change the outfit. Remember to spread the positivity. It's an important thing. And now we're just gonna wait for Kevin, who should be picking up coffee and is almost on his way here, which is appreciated, but a little lame, because the deal was he's driving, I was supposed to buy the Tims. I was getting the Tims. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I was. Thank you. Breakfast. If you wait for me to contemplate in my life, waiting to live is to pursue. Waiting, watching. Got a new photographer? This is what's gonna happen. Yes. Yeah, new photographer just got hired. I love how you're holding it. <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah, this is where what you should take a look picture of me being like, this is why Whitney's not a photographer. Oh, through yeah. this way. Uh, this finger up here is your shutter. This? Yeah. Okay. And then I just press. Yeah. Where am I? So half a press will focus. You put them on his face. I put the squares on his face. Yeah, as best you can. That? Oh. That was a picture. Okay, then press the play button. You can get a look a little closer. That's a real wide shot. <laughs> oh, is it zoom? What is it? It looked like a, it's so stubby. Oh, well, it goes to 80. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just had to put on a cowboy boots. You gotta dress for your clients. <laughs> what clients? <laughs> Wait, Whitney! <laughs> Where are the clients? Because I've been made in this and make believe. <laughs> this is all bullshit. Look at that Greyhound bus depot sign. That font's cool. Where'd the queen be? I swear to God, if there's more than one location, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, it's all done. It's not even in service. No. It's like somebody got their head chopped off. Remember that shit? When I used to work in this sign's made for me. Maybe I should buy it. <laughs> Look at these two, sit in their cars, individually, social distancing. At least they're being legal. <laughs> yeah, a burger or something. So that was a day. Let's just say it's a good thing I'm not driving because not eating in three beers equals trouble. But it was fun. And I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna get something to eat. Whoop up. Whoop up. Does it drive? Whoop up, drive. I was gonna say, greenhouse grown lettuce at Wendy's. Who's buying that? I'm not. I get a number two combo with Coke and no onion. Combo 
Yeah. Small, medium, or large? Oh, just uh, medium size. I'll get the same. No lettuce. Anything else? Another number two, no lettuce. Large, please, with a Coke. I'm gonna get extra lettuce, you're gonna get extra onions. You watch. It's gonna be a bunch of bullshit. He says, holy shit, when he passes me by Drake. That's because Wendy's is insane. That's a lot. Look at that shit. Kevin asked for a small, and that's what he ended <laughs> Yikes. That's why Wendy's is the bomb. How's it going? So I just turned in, turned in. I just pulled into this small little town in Alberta and went and met up with some of the crew for the uh, photo shoot that we got going on tomorrow. And now I'm at the campground and I can't get a hold of the campsite attendant to pay them. I left a message with the lady, so hopefully she gets that message and gets back to me. It's only 30 bucks for the night. That's not so bad. It's a nice little area, quiet town. Reminds me of all the little small towns I used to drive through in BC because I didn't do a lot of traveling in Alberta. <laughs> Kids out on their bikes over there. And I was excited to. Um, hook up the shore power because I'm in the power site, right? <laughs> so I get my extension cord out, hook it up to the van, come over to the power outlet that are here. Sad day. <laughs> That's a 30 amp connection. So we're gonna have to get an adapter. Those are easy to come by. Canadian Tire should have them. Um, I'll rip back into town, which I'm doing anyway to have dinner with everybody in about an hour. I'll put that on the checklist because I do want to test this all out and see what I can do tonight when it comes to power. And get a few things done around the van while we're here just to pass the time. I brought the, uh, I brought the switch with me, but I don't think that's the best use of my time right now. But I did put the battery in. Oh, there's the house battery. So uh, come on in. I'll show you kind of what I got going on. All right. So I should move that seat up, but I'm leaving soon. So it's, the van's not in full camp mode yet. But there, we got the battery hooked up, but the only thing that's connected to it right now is the, you know, if you can see it there, yep, the battery charger. And of course, it's not plugged in right now, so it's not doing anything. But I had a little fun last night. I was prepping. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? Just on the other side of the spice rack. It's this little outlet. It's got a cigarette lighter, 12 volt out, and a USB out. I've got the LED lights plugged into it right now but it's not connected to the uh, battery right now. I just did a test to make sure my wiring was okay because I'm was i always scared of like setting the house on fire when I do wiring, but it worked, no problem. So now I just need to adapt the wires and make them the correct length to run down the wall there and to the battery. And the coolest thing about it is, is I had an extra switch lying around from the Tacoma. So the wires are actually gonna run all the way across there to the door and then this little switch right here, I'm gonna mount them right up there. So when I get in, I can just push this button and the lights will turn on. That's pretty exciting. And then, yeah, just do a few other little things around the place here. I want to put some of that non-slide drawer liner underneath all the water stuff. It's not going anywhere right now because everything's jammed in here quite tight, but still, we'll get that taken care of and, and zipped up. It's hot, my goodness. But now that we've got a battery in here, we can look, start looking at uh, fans It'll be a nice addition. So I'm gonna kind of get everything straightened up. The place is a little bit of a mess and it's driving me insane. So I'm gonna tidy a bit, go out for dinner and check back in when I get back to camp and hunker down for the night. Just had a great dinner at Hudson's with everybody. Thank you, Kevin. It would have been better if it was a little bit more of a local place, but it is a Friday night and those places were busy as all get out. Now apparently we're doing something called a collaboration. I don't know. It's an Instagram thing. Apparently I should know this because I'm on YouTube, but I don't. I'm just gonna hang out and see what kind of footage I can get. Maybe pull the camera out and see what we can do. 
it's Lethbridge. There's no criminals in Lethbridge, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> there's my... been like three businesses that got like broken into in the last two weeks. Oh, look at the flowers she has. They're so pretty. Close pal. Never mind, it's just a light. Look at this guy, you see? That's oh. what I couldn't do on my fo forest walk the other day. No, just keep going. You just uh, yeah. do you. <laughs> oh, but you're in my frame. <laughs> <laughs> That's our model. She's going to be beautiful. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Perfect. Look at you just hanging out at a door. I'm so pretty. Tell me I'm pretty. What do you, what do I need? <laughs> In a questionable alley. Yeah. That's <laughs> where she got her wedding photos walks done. Away. <laughs> Just turn the corner. This looks like a great place for a photo shoot. Oh, okay. I take it back. Take down the fence. Yeah, I got bolt cutters in the van. <laughs> no, actually, unfortunately, but now it's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I could urkel my pants up some more for you. That's what you want to hear from your model. <laughs> but it was lots of fun just hanging out with everybody so i'm back at the campground now and i just scoped out their washroom showers and they're pretty baller for where i am all things considered you'd think they'd be a lot worse so 
my phone's almost dead, so I'm gonna throw it on the charger and I'm gonna go take use of the facilities and have a shower before I get all tucked in for the night. Don't know how much I'm gonna get done tonight. Look how cool the moon looks up there. Ooh. Well, it just looks like a fiery ball to you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to get cleaned up. Then we will squirrel ourselves away. Another big rig showed up. So now I've got the one neighbor here. And then you can't really see him, but he's back there. Big fifth wheel with all the pullouts. Slide outs. <laughs> um, but they look like they've already gone to bed. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute when I'm trying to get cozy. <laughs> okay, this is vastly different than the last two camping trips with Lindsay and Sadie. It's a lot warmer. It's gonna stay in the double digits tonight. I don't even think it's gonna hit 10. I think the lowest is like 13 or 14 degrees Celsius. It's already, you can tell the difference. Like the floor is not cold. I have a little fan right there with the, the door cracked, a little USB fan blowing some air in, and that wasn't enough. So now I've started the van, I got the AC running for a little bit. It's about quarter to 11. Um, I don't, I wanted to wire up these lights. They're just back on the um, USB bank right now. I wanted to wire them up to work with the battery, but I am plugged in outside and the battery is well charged. So now it's just being maintained. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do any of that tonight. I might just relax and go to sleep and get up early. That was a super fun day though. It's nice to like, have this guy back in my hands and doing photo shoots again. So I didn't realize how much I missed it, I guess. I haven't really talked too candidly about my job and I probably will eventually, but tonight is not the night for that. That is for darn sure. Um, so I'll see if I get to anything and you'll tell the next clip whether I do or not, because it's either going to be me doing whatever I decide to do or me waking up and getting on with the day tomorrow. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me for today. Seeing what I did probably wasn't much, but uh, yeah, it's fun to be out here kind of solo. It's interesting. I am very tired. It's probably time for bed. <laughs> Good morning. That was definitely the warmest night I have had in the van so far, which was kind of nice. Like I went to bed, I didn't need any covers on. Middle of the night, I had to grab one and I was quite comfortable. So it's just after seven. Photo shoot was starting around, I think, 9.30, 10, something like that. So it'll be good. Just having some uh, instant oatmeal right now. Got my coffee here, and we'll make some toast to have with that. And it'll be a, I think it's a pretty good breakfast. It looks like it's gonna be a really nice day. It's already quite windy. It's really nice having power, but I gotta get used to the fact that that's going to be a more rare luxury for when I'm permanently in the van. That being said, I didn't do much last night. I think I powered a little USB fan definitely overkill if that was the only thing I was <laughs> powering but once we uh, add some more stuff it'll be a little different so yeah I had a pretty good night I hope you had a good night even though you didn't sleep in between watching this and the last clip <laughs> so I'm just gonna end this one here say that was a good night uh, I'm excited to go out and uh, do some photography today I'll see you in the next one guys <laughs> just be happy be creative be yourselves and most importantly just be positive. See you later. <laughs> She's supposed to be being sensual right now. <laughs> Pressed up against this tree. But I actually do want one. <laughs> one. Oh. Maybe I'll go for it. Uh, back do, at Timbits do without maybe, the honey rulers. Do you Those maybe, things are nasty. <laughs> Sorry. Don't you hate it when your model doesn't shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> no, <that's> <laughs>